Welcome back. We're learning new details about a potential new victim linked to the Gilgo Beach serial killer. Officials in New York released these new images of a man found in 2011, but could have been killed up to 10 years before that date. They're hoping that this will help identify this victim. Listen. Unfortunately, this victim suffered a violent death. Uh, the cause of, of death was homicide by blunt force trauma. Uh, we know the death occurred during or prior to 2006, uh, and that those remains were on Ocean Beach for at least five years before being discovered in uh, 2011. So the actual murder occurred uh, based on the forensic examination of the remains in 2006 or earlier. Uh, this, uh, some of this information uh, is being released for the first time, specifically the descriptions of the clothes that Asian Doe was wearing at the time of death, and that uh, although Asian Doe was a biological male, uh, Asian Doe was wearing exclusively women's clothing. Because the victim was wearing exclusively women's cloth, clothing at the time of death, it is possible that they identified as a woman or were known by others as being a woman. CBS News reporter Carolyn Gussoff has the latest on what we know about this developing case. Reed, good afternoon. This was a plea to the public to help solve another one of the Gilgo Beach homicides, a murder that was probably committed around 2006, investigators believe, and the body was discovered in 2011. It's a biological male dressed in women's clothing, a victim who had never been identified, who was dubbed originally by police as Asian Doe. Investigators want to put a name with this victim so this murder can finally be solved. They gave the case to facial reconstructive experts who examined the skull, worked with the skull, and came up with very advanced images with both short and long hair. They believed the victim was likely from southern China. They were wearing Bill Blath's pants and a bra. They put out images of the clothing labels. They believe they were between 17 and 23 years old, around five foot six, and they believe that they were a sex worker. They've translated these posters into many Asian languages, including Mandarin, Thai, Cantonese, and Indonesian. And they were asked today whether Rex Hewerman is a suspect in this killing, and they said they're not able to bring charges against Rex Hewerman at this time. He, of course, a suspected serial killer tied with six other victims, many of them found just feet, 300 feet uh, from where this Asian victim was also dumped. Prosecutors say that Hewerman searched online for Asian sex workers and Asian escorts. Uh, Suffolk DA today asked people of Asian descent to sign up for DNA genealogy sites to help them solve this case. They're asking the public to take a good look at these images so that this victim will no longer be nameless and that loved ones can finally get answers, adding that there is also a $2,500 reward for information. Reed. Someone out there has got to know something. Let's hope the tips come in.